Okay, today I am joined by John Deemer, everybody. One second, I'm busy. <sighs> He's always on his phone. Okay, I'm here. He's gonna be in this video. Okay, we're taking you somewhere special. Somewhere that you don't know exists. That is only ours. We're gonna bike there and you'll see. All will be revealed in one second. Okay, we're here. Uh, I can't tell you the address because then you'll all stalk me. Just kidding. John and I um, own a house. That's, that's it. And so we're gonna take you inside because we're doing a full gut reno that's like, I hope three quarters of the way done. I don't really know. Maybe halfway done. It's a mess though. But it's exciting. I own a house. We have mail. We own a house. We have mail. <gasps> Ready? Move out of the way, John. Ew. Ew. I don't like coming to the house in the middle of renovations because it freaks me out and it makes me feel like this house is a piece of crap, even though we're spending thousands and thousands of dollars to fix it because it's just unfinished. So I can see all the bugs and the cobwebs, so it kind of bugs me. But when it's all done, behind me will be the kitchen right there where we'll shoot hot for food and it will be all pristine white, white cupboards, quartz countertops, blah, blah, blah. And this will be the living room with this front window. This is the powder room, gross. Kind of weird, right? Like you're gonna go poo right where the kitchen is. No pooing allowed in the powder room. Right, John? Right. This house was abandoned and unlivable. So that's why we're renovating it. And what are we doing now? We have to, what do we have to do? We have to pick out windows. Yeah, what kind of windows and things that we want. Boring! When I say boring, it's because I think it's boring. Because I just want to pick out like um, the tiles and the floorboards, not the windows. Who cares? Just put in windows at work. I don't know. John wants to know what I think though. Also, John has been handling all these renovations and arrangements because I don't care. <laughs> and he's very good and he's being a man and he's taking control and I don't have to worry about it. So that's very nice. Okay, so you come up the stairs to the second level, and here will be the bathroom, which you can't really tell because there's no walls, but that'll be the bathroom where John is. This will be the shower room. There's gonna be a shower and a tub in here. Yeah. Picture him naked. That's where the tub is. And then the toilet will be here when you walk in. And then this room at the front of the house on the second floor, this little spare room is going to be a spare room, but also a yoga and meditation room. Ah! <laughs> it's my dream come true, yoga meditation room. Everyone's like, is that the room for the baby? And I'm like, eh, no. And this here, so you walk up the stairs and you look at the back of the house and this will be my office. My office, because John will work from the studio where we are currently living. And then we have a backyard over here. Oh, the window's open. So that'll be a nice backyard, isn't that sweet? So much room to have parties. Picture like those like patio lights strung from end to end, very cool, very tumblery, Pinteresty looking. So we're going up the stairs to the third level. Because you're probably wondering, oh, where are you gonna sleep, Lauren? Well, hang on. I'm gonna sleep up here! In the master bedroom that's basically like an attic. It's got slanted ceilings, if you can see that. That's the size of a, of a condo, basically, up here. And it's gonna have a king bed. Not right away, but eventually I want a king bed. There'll be like a little bench here where you can read. Maybe even meditate there too. John can meditate there. I'll meditate in the meditation room. <laughs> cool, eh? And then this wall over here will be a closet, built-in custom closet. And then this will be where the bed goes. Pretty sweet, right? I'm glowing. You're glowing. So basically it's very exciting that we own a house. It's also scary and it's also super weird because I never thought I would own a house. I thought I would own a condo. Um, to, to start, but the first thing I've ever owned is this old 100-year-old house that we're renovating. 
And you know what? I don't even really like design and home reno stuff. Like we're not doing the work ourselves. We've hired contractors, obviously, um, and a designer to help because I don't really know how to make those decisions. But hopefully I'll be able to show you more of this process and hopefully I'll be able to show you the kitchen as it happens because I'm going to obviously be involved in designing the kitchen because that is where I'm going to be working all of the time. And I can picture in my head the finished product, but um, I get very like, you know, when John asks me all these questions about what we want here and what we want there, and I'm just like, I don't know, because it stresses me out. And I think it's this issue of like, I feel inside like I don't deserve this. Remember that whole issue? We don't think we're worthy of love or we're worthy of things and abundance. And it's like, I'm having this like internal issue of like, maybe I don't think I'm worthy of owning a house. So I gotta get that out of my mind and deal with that. But the stress comes out when he asks me questions about like, what do you want the windows to be? And where do you want the heater to go? And where should the closet go? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I don't know, like you decide. Except when I get in here, if something's wrong, I'll obviously rage. <laughs> it's really cool though. And I'm excited to see the finished thing. And I'm excited to show you the finished thing, which probably won't happen for a few months. So bear with us. Uh, I'm gonna go back downstairs and see where John is. So far, the most expensive thing in the house are these pot lights we put everywhere because there's like 400 of them. But that is the key to a modern home. Pot lights everywhere. So that's our house. This is the alley to the backyard. Um, we actually have to go pick out windows now, so you're not gonna come for that because that's ultra boring. Yeah, but we'll keep you posted on the renovations and document it all on YouTube and hopefully get a sponsor to pay for our kitchen. <laughs> what, I'm putting it out in the universe now. Okay, bye.